Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. How come oh. you don't have 22, Big Mo? I got I got some 22 ammo. Why you ain't got no 22s? Because he's big. <laughs> big caliber. Big mo. Oh, yeah, man. I, I got to have something that thumps, man. Yeah. 20, 22 about... just doesn't sound right no, with no, 22 is great. If, if, if a zombie apocalypse, that's probably one of the best calibers to have because, you know, you get a, you can pack a gazillion, you know, cartridges and the rounds and then you can go out there and, uh -huh. you know, as long as you're doing headshots, you're good to go. Yeah. But uh, for me, I'm everything, I, I mean, the most caliber I got is uh, 5.56. Five, five, everything else is all okay. 308s. 338s, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, this is a good. So this, I, this, this is a good point. Out, but I just, I'm happy. Everything I got is, I'm happy. You know, I got a gun case here, and I got a, I mean, a gun safe here, and I got a gun safe right there, and I got everything that I want. I really do, man. I'm, really, you know, and I'm real specific on what I want, and it just satisfies me everything. You know what I mean? The rest of the stuff is just kind of gratuitous, but I got everything that I want. All I need is more ammo. <laughs> That's it. So I'm gonna yeah. come see Brown else for that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, I've I've got that. You know, it reminded me uh, when when you said, you know, what's your project? Um, thermal is is on my list too, Mo. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I I tell you, I have to get a give a shout out. There's there's some guys on YouTube, uh, Hans East Texas, mm -hmm. uh, probably around your area, and. Also, uh, Jason from Outdoor Legacy Gear, they do uh, the Late Night Vision podcast, and they're reviewing all this thermal. And, you know, I've been, you know, I love the Trigicon stuff. I mean, it is definitely, they, they're, nothing gets any better, uh, the resolution. Um, resolution. But, but, you know, for me, I'm just kind of, like, if it doesn't come with a stamp, like a transferable something or another, where I feel, like, I feel like I'm spending a lot of money for a, a big screen TV that like in six months or a year, it's worth half what I gave for it, but Wait, I still want yeah. the function. Mm -hmm. So, so I've been looking like at the pulsar lines, um, yeah, you know, a lot of value, just trying to figure out what I want, but, but you know, it, the hard thing about thermal, and I know that there's other guys out there that feel this way is, you know, you're spending three, four, five, six, seven, you know, whatever line yeah. you're looking at thousand, and it's like buying the car without ever test driving it. Like you, you can't even look through it before you get it, and once you get it, you're stuck with it. So yeah. you know that's that's the hard. I can do. I'm, I'm I'm trying to give a you know trying to get a deal with Brownells where I go and and I cut the grass for once a week for the next five years. <laughs> they give me one of them. I they got, it, they got it up on the shelf. I don't know why they mess it around. Like, hey, you know, hey, uh, don't man, don't, man, don't man, float man, that man, idea if you're not. Him, hold up, man. Yeah. 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 We, we, we can put right, you on Goose Patrol. I'm getting done. I mean, they got to be paying somebody to cut that grass i'll cut it yeah Mo, up, man. you're floating an idea okay. that they might actually go for man <laughs> yeah. tell me i want one of them nine thousand dollar irs man yeah. I, I want one of the thermals man and they got it they got it sitting on the shelf yeah but, but, but go ahead but I, I heard that somebody likes the giggle switch is what i just heard somebody likes the the, yeah. the third position on the safety I mean, who does it who doesn't like oh full baby auto? <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah, full auto is the way to go. I've I always tell people my the the like the fun, the the most fun thing to me, right? I think twenty two is awesome. By the way, uh, full I love auto, 22. yeah, full auto twenty two suppressed. Oh baby, <laughs> they're no. bad. I shot one. Yeah, the Force Scott guys got one, and they brought it. They brought it down when I was over over at Adam Roach's house, and that thing is awesome. Full yeah. full auto twenty two. Yeah. as long as you don't so have jams, as long as you, you know, I mean, if you, right. Eventually, it's gonna get dirty because it's twenty two. So after I, that, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna say nine millimeter or forty five full auto I, suppressed. I love full auto. My favorite full auto is an M two forty Bravo. I've shot one of those suppressed, and it's a Cadillac. It's unbelievable. Really? Everybody should have one of those, but but uh, 22s. That's what I grew up shooting, mm -hmm. and a, a good bolt action accurate 22 is a thing of simple and pure joy. Yes, that, yeah, yeah. And you can also. Can I count how many times I've been in the backyard or on the back 40? I used to live on 30 acres in Arkansas before I moved to Iowa, and just go out with a 500 round box brick of 22 mm -hmm. inches. Every single round over the course of an afternoon and the evening, and it was, it's just the most beautiful, amazing, fun 
relaxing, awesome thing to do. Yeah, exactly. and 22s can get expensive too, man. Yes, um, they can. Yeah, recently, I think Brownell sent me a Volkortsen uh, trigger. Actually, Babyface did a video with that recently. I don't know if you saw that or not, Roy. I got to I got to tag you on it. Oh yeah, but send you, me the video. Yeah. yeah. We'll send you could get you could you could really get expensive, you know. Oh, you, yeah. you can get into 22 cheaply <laughs> or affordably, but then you could yeah. drop a lot of money trying to money. trying to build that up in there, you know what I mean? So right, there's, right. there's lots of different ways to go there. Um have you guys noticed a run on the 22 before we move away from that? It's, is, are people buying a lot of the 22 or 22 ammo still there, good in there, the stores? There was. There was a whole lot of 22 buy-in going on, and I've mm -hmm. read some articles. I haven't checked the website to see what, if 22 was in stock mm -hmm. because, quite frankly, I'm sitting on several thousand rounds of 22 myself, so I haven't really paid attention. Now, yeah. I, I learned from the from, from the Great Panic of 2013 is whenever yes, you buy it. Yeah. 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 I, I want to ask a question. Mm -hmm. Everything else. Because yes. all of us, all of us went through, or, or at least to my knowledge, we, we were all great gun. Twenty thirteen, right? Yeah. Right. So none of us are new, and and we remember that. And I might be sitting on a few rounds uh, going <laughs> into the going into the COVID thing. Uh -huh. Is that five or six six figures? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's asking personal detail. <laughs> um, but, but, you know, so here's my question. Sure. I already know what I have, and mm -hmm. you know what you have. Mm -hmm. yep. Were you like me? Did you still buy some ammo during this? Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. I still did. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't even need it. No, but, I, I buy, but I didn't I overpay. I, I didn't overpay. Yeah. So I just, I just watched for deals, and I knew right. kind of what the market was right. running anyway. And if I right. saw a deal, I was like, eh, I can't, you know. Dear Lord, I'm weak. I'm about to make this gun purchase. <laughs> you're, you're, you know not, I mean? you're, not, just... you're not weak. It's not you're a not sin. Weak. That's not you a sin. You are prudent and forward thinking yeah. because you got burned in the 2013 panic yeah, on 20 yeah. Rambo. Yeah. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.